We start with breaking news at 5. Police are investigating a fatal shooting just north of downtown in the 2800 block of Arapahoe Street. You're looking at the scene where the shooting happened this afternoon. We know there was one male victim. The suspect is still at large. And Sheridan police have just named James Edwin Hoganson as a person of interest in a fatal shooting last week at 3985 South Federal. He may be driving a silver 2006 Toyota Scion or a black 2008 smart car, and he may be armed. We now know for certain that the remains found in a dumpster in Oklahoma were those of Ashley Mead of Boulder. Ashley went missing in February, along with her one-year-old daughter. Her daughter is just fine. Her former, former boyfriend, Adam Densmore, he's in custody facing murder charges. Alerting you to a dangerous man who may be hiding out in Colorado. Trevor Sanford from Wyoming is a person of interest in the murder of his grandmother in Laramie last week. A SWAT team searched a North Glen house last night after receiving a tip that he could be there, but turned up nothing. Denver 7 has learned the victim in Saturday's shooting was 56-year-old Henry Wagner. It happened in the 600 block of Olive Street. All right, mumps cases. They are on the rise in Colorado this year. In just the first three months, we've seen 53 cases. Typically, we see fewer than 10 in the whole year. Mumps outbreaks have been reported in 37 states, more than 1,000 cases total. If you're looking for a change of career, you may not have to look very far. After the break, the industry that's full of opportunities here in Colorado. Plus, good news for those of you hoping to hit the slopes a couple more times before ski season is over. And later, opening day for the Rockies. We'll show you how it all went down in Milwaukee.